Yo! Alright, what's going on guys? Taylor from Bag Riders here and nobody else from Bag Riders here. Today, I'm going to try to do a little bit more E30 work and then some 7 Series work. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, wheel this subframe out and try to clean it up as best I can myself. Reason being is that I've struck out pretty hard as far as... Uh, media blasting services go around here in vermont it's the first place i was going to go they're booked till august the other places are also booked out um till july august time as well don't really want to wait that long because i need to get this thing off the lift rolling so it can get to the body shop uh to repair a lot of the rust issues that are on it i picked up uh some rust removing aggressive wheels for the uh, grinder i'm hoping that goes well enough uh it's just gonna be a little bit of a little bit of labor of love i better get to it uh but yeah anyway this is gonna take a little while but it's cleaning up nicely uh i was just gonna test it out what the uh, grinding wheel can do uh what the you know the the wire wheel can do it's you know i'm using that to get into a little like little tighter spots and then uh Anything that I really can't get to, I'm gonna just uh, glass glass bead, blast it. Um, just trying to reduce the amount I'm doing that just because it's not fun to do when you don't have like a hood or anything and I don't. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get some water, let the compressor catch up and uh, keep on trucking. But anyway, it's going good. It's hot, it's probably 90 something degrees out, but it's kind of dry, so ain't no thing. currently waiting for the compressor to shut off so I can tell you what I'm doing change the plans slightly I think uh, since I'm kind of in a rush to get this off the lift not actually POR this I just got some like spray on rust-oleum stuff from Lowe's uh, for now so that it looks decent and not bare metal what i think i'm going to do is get a donor subframe what i will do after that get that out to the media blasting let them have it make sure like it's a nice thorough clean because i really was struggling i got I brought in my uh shitty harbor freight uh sandblaster thing and it just didn't work what i'm gonna do right now is uh just freaking rust oleum the thing the good old rust only and paint job obviously it's not as good as por this stuff kind of sucks in general but it's gonna do the trick so uh gonna cue the time lapse of me just spraying this down all right well after the time lapse because that thing was downwind of these metallic flakes so i'm just gonna do a little bit of a pov spray down respect the technique There is absolutely no method to this madness. I am just laying it on here. Could be worse. All right, now I wanna hang out. Wait for that, that coat to dry. Wow, I'm sweating. Well, I know there's no thermometer on these videos, but it's about 100 degrees outside right now, so. Uh, I threw another coat on the top here. I'm gonna let that dry overnight. I'm gonna do the other two coats on the other side. Slam some bushings in there and um, think about what I got to do for this rust repair. Anyway, I'm about to head out of here for the day. But uh, like I said, I'll be back in tomorrow. We're not done with this episode quite yet. So uh, yeah, I'll be in tomorrow. All right, new day. We're back. I'm going to wheel out that motor. Main course of action is to uh, clean this. Clean this. Clean this and uh, clean whatever else I can come up with on there. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I think they're only supposed to use these at the dentist office, but uh, this is gonna be pretty handy for I think getting in there, getting you know little the little final touches, and then it'll actually help if I need to get into these cylinders and vacuum anything out. It's the best, best thing I got right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to just settle for a slightly dirty motor. I'm gonna give it a shot. So 
so the vac thing worked pretty well good enough for me uh now i uh what i did was i cut off and masked all the holes so that uh we'll keep this as clean as possible and then what i'll do after is uh peel that off and then then clean the, the gasket surface um i'll probably just t stuff some shop towels in there to, to help mitigate any junk or just vacuum it out when i'm done that's what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna pop out the old dremel and uh get to work on cleaning these piston tops and then uh, go from there Hello. The Dremel just died, so that's that's one. That's gonna be good enough for now, I think. I, I wanna really, really wanna make it like perfect, but um, I don't think that's gonna be any sort of issue. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm not a professional, so I'm gonna just leave that. Forget about it for now. And uh, I'm actually gonna finish the management uh, manifold that I got use this thing and uh, get rid of all those uh, crazy airlines. I'm gonna set that up and accomplish something today. <laughs> Got my nice little nook set up over here with this old AC unit. This has been going for about five minutes now. And 78 degrees in this part of the shop. But uh, I am gonna get going on uh, doing that manifold. Not sure if I explained it previously but this sweet little thing here uh, i got this off mcmaster car they've got a bunch of different ones uh this is three eighth inch npt in quarter inch npt out i'm thinking i'll probably mount it like this somehow in from the compressors on the sides and then out to the tanks and there's five tanks and six ports so five ports will be for tanks one port will be for the tanks to the manifold or to the water trap and then the manifold that's how we're gonna do it saber thing basically we got all the straights and we got the check valves compressor is going to go in each end air is going to go into the tank and then all those tanks are also going to feed into this manifold and then go out of one of these to the uh, 3p manifold so i'm going to fashion a way to um fasten this uh, i'm not worried about the tape and stuff hanging out i mean it is what it is much more reliable seal even though we did pressure test that and deem it adequate uh this i think over time will just last longer hopefully um it also just makes it a little bit uh less messy said each one of the tanks goes into here and then this comes out this will go to the manifold compressors go in fill the tanks tanks go back into here because it's all one thing and then this guy is the magic one well that's done I feel like I accomplished something today on that I'm gonna wrap it so I'll see you guys on the next one peace oh.